Hey YouTube family, this is Ronnie here from Early Bird Farms. Today we're going to show you changing out a part on our tractor. Alright guys, in order to complete this job, you're going to need a few hand tools. That's all you'll need. You're going to need a 3 8 ratchet. You're going to need a uh, a 9 16 socket and an extension. You also need a half inch socket. You'll need a box in wrench, half inch, and a set of pliers. So the 9 16 wrench takes off the bolts to hold the bracket to the frame. The uh, half inch socket you'll need to take off the piece that holds the spring. And you'll need the box in wrench to break it loose. And to get it the rest of the way off, you'll probably need a set of pliers to hold it with. And then you'll need the pliers to put the spring back on with. Because it's got a lot of tension in it. Alright, let's get to it. This part here, not really sure what the name of it is. But uh, this part right here got bent from a stick. I was bush hogging and a, it wasn't really a stick, it was a log that come up. This part sits this way and the stick hit right here and bent it this way. And the only thing that this part serves, if you see this right here and this right here, there are two springs that hook onto this right here and they go to the hydraulic pedals. So when you push the forward, uh, down it pulls one spring and then when you let off it comes back up and when you push the reverse the other spring causes that to come back up and they work like this you push one down this comes up this down this comes up now anytime you take anything apart like this it's always good to take a picture of it uh, a wiring diagram anything like that that way you know exactly how it goes back together so uh, I've taken a picture with my uh, phone, and uh, so I know how these springs go back. Let me show you one more thing. Now, here's the new one. You can see this plate is level. This is how it mounts on the tractor. This bolts to the transmission, just like that. Uh, one thing I wanted to note, this tractor that I have is a Coyote CK35SE has a uh, six year warranty on it, and it has a um, two year bumper to bumper warranty on it. Anything that breaks, they replace it. So this part right here, which I thought I was gonna have to pay for cause I broke it, they covered it, which is really good. I like companies that stand behind their product. One thing uh, that I will note, this part come to me as bare metal. I'm not sure why they would do that, if you can look at this and this one is powder coated. I should have went and had this in powder coated, but I didn't have time. So I put about three or four coats of uh, black, flat black paint on it. That's probably not going to be nowhere near, well I know it's not going to be nowhere near as durable as this uh, part right here. But it's what we got and we're going to go with it. These are the hydraulic pedals, and you can see this is the reverse. So if you push that down, it just stays. And if you push the forward down, that just stays. So that's what this part does. It just controls the springs. Right there where you see those three bolts, that's where it mounts. And then these springs go up in here. because I can't remember where they go. And that's why I took the picture of it. So let's get this bolted up and then we'll put the springs on.
I want to make a quick note about this. The bolts that they sent to us, to me, are not the same thread pattern. I put the new ones in there without looking at the old ones and matching them up. And I noticed it was kind of a tight fit. And then I compared the threads on the two. And as you can see here, uh, the threads that come off of the tractor are, are a fine thread. And the, the new bolts that they sent me are a coarse thread. So uh, I didn't force them in there. I noticed they were tight and I went and got the other bolts and pulled them out and compared them. So you always want to do that. Make sure that the ones you gave me get, uh, got are the right ones. There's nothing really wrong with the bolts that they sent me. I mean, the, uh, the bolts that I had that I took out of here. But because that part was bent, it was hard to, it was hard to get these out of here. And they're kind of... Uh, they had I think what they did when they built this tractor they put it all together and then they painted everything it's almost like they rolled the, the chassis through an assembly line after they put everything because even the uh, even the hydraulic filter and everything has paint on it and you can see like little drips from it where they painted it so uh, if you can see here this this bolt was really hard to get off and I had to use my impact to get in there and I had to use a knuckle to, to get it to get in there behind it to take it off so um, I had asked them to send me some new bolts for that that very reason but there's nothing wrong with them they'll come back off next time they're they're uh, mostly it's just the uh, paint that chipped off so we're going to use these old bolts and put them right back on there Now that we got them in there, we're going to tighten them up. I still need that. I know this is kind of hard to see up from here, but this right here, the small spring goes from here to here, there to here, and the larger spring fits in this gap right here. I don't know if you can, uh, you can see there's a little gap right there and it fits on that. That's what we gotta do. We got that first spring on there. One thing I didn't notice is this part right here is, is gone off of here. Let me show you what the other one looks like. I gotta take it off of the old one and put it on here. It's kinda like the tensioner. Off and put it on the other one. I'll leave this nut right here on, take this and off, that way it's the same length. Use a half inch socket. For this nut.
Must have turned that ratchet already. At this point, I'd say you big dummy. Probably gonna need these pliers anyway to uh, pull that spring. Oh, that's what that plate does, okay. This is the hardest part of the whole job right here. There we go. I wondered before what the purpose of this flat plate was right here. So these these four and reverse pedals have little bump stops on them, and they have adjustments on them. See how it hits that plate. So now we know. Back working like it should.